Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Zenith Pilot Maltra Delonef Type 20 GMT. You can see and you can purchase this Pilot Type 20 GMT on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch, with additional accessories included in the sale, high-resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this Zenith GMT Pilot's watch. Now, as of 2012, Zenith brought back its historic Pilot's references, not in onesies or twosies, but in legions. A full lineup that has come to define perhaps one of the most significant pillars of the manufacture in the modern era. Alongside the El Primero movement, the pilot's watches have really come to be a mainstay of the manufacture from Le Loque, and they draw on a real history of both pilot's timepieces worn on the wrist and aviation instruments featured on the flight deck. Now, we'll talk more about that in a moment. Let's talk about the fit. I actually buckled this one on my wrist. I usually just hold the watch taut so you can see the strap or bracelet sized properly, but here I want to make a point, which is that even on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, I'm able to wear this extraordinarily large 48 millimeter round timepiece with nothing but the appearance of mismatched proportions. And that's the idea with an oversized pilot's watch. They were always designed in the historic era to be worn over aviation coveralls or altitude jackets. So the look being perhaps ungainly large on a bare wrist is intentional. It's an instrument style watch and this is how it's supposed to appear. If your wrist appears to be perfectly proportioned to match this watch, well, you're probably that guy who played the mountain in Game of Thrones. For the rest of us, the big look is intentional. Now, the watch is not thick. 15 millimeters with a double-stepped rounded bezel and a little bit of a curvature to the sapphire, this watch actually slides underneath a dress cuff fairly easily. The real limiting factor will be the lug-to-lug -lug dimension, which is substantial. 57.6 millimeters across the wrist, but the watch wears like a cushion with the lugs so spare and tightly downturned that it really bends around around the edge of your wrist rather than flaring out in an ungainly fashion. This is one that will actually fit a wrist, in my estimation, down to 15 centimeters in circumference, as long as you're okay with the oversized look. I have no problem making it fit. Now, it is a very substantial strap. The strap is an aviator style, light brown calfskin, with a contrasting stitch, and then you can see just how thick it is in profile with sheer edges. On the underside, this is a modern Zenith trait. On almost all of their straps, there's a rubber inlay, which is both very comfortable and separates the leather of the strap from the oils, the heat, the moisture, the sweat, the grit of the wrist for longer wearing durability. Now you'll note that the lugs are barely there. In profile, they arc, they create almost a camber to the case, a curvature from side to side. That's one of the reasons this watch wears so well on a smaller wrist. And you can see the pin buckle is rather Panerai-esque, albeit much more substantial than you'll find on a Panerai. Now, the watch, all of stainless steel, is hefty in the hand, and that's accentuated by the fact that it uses a solid steel case back featuring the image of the Louis Blériot monoplane in which the namesake investor or inventor and investor flew the English Channel in 1909. Of course, he had a Zenith timepiece on board and thus he is commemorated on innumerable Zenith case backs and engraved special editions. Now this watch does have a very vintage feel about it, but with modern fit and finish, and you can see that in the profile, the contrast between the satin finished and polished elements is very nicely executed, and it's not something you would expect on a true vintage timepiece. The crown is immense at 11 millimeters in diameter, and it's also an absolute pleasure to manipulate. It is a screw down crown. The watch does have a 100 meter water resistance, so if you put it on a water resistant band, you'll find that this one is adequately water resistant for swimming. You also note that there's a little bit of scratching on the anti-reflective coating. We're going to leave it on. This is a pre-owned watch, full disclosure, but if you do purchase this watch, we can buff it off before you take delivery if you prefer to simply dispense with that AR coating altogether and remove any aesthetic marring. Now, the crown, about that again. It's a pleasure to wind. This is a Zenith Elite Caliber 693, and not every automatic caliber winds this nicely, so it's worth mentioning what's inside the case. 
It's a Zenith Elite Caliber 693 Manufacturer 50 Hour Power Reserve. It features hacking seconds, so when you pull the crown out, you do stop the constant seconds, and it's crosshairs subdial at 9 o'clock. There is a second time zone in 24 hour format. The red cathedral hand moves in single circuits of the dial per day, and you can step it in one hour increments using the pusher at 10 o'clock. Now the oversized cathedral style hands feature a satin grain, all the hands do, and glow with immense luminosity at night. Torch-like, not only are the hands bright, but so are the numerals, each one a separate cut block of superluminova. Not painted, n not a separate applied element that's been coated, they are actually blocks of luminova that are inserted into the low glare matte black dial. So the contrast is excellent in bright light, low light, and no light at all. This is a handsome and versatile watch. Granted, it may not be your everyday timepiece, but if you're looking for a strong play in the pirate pilot's genre, if you're looking for something to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with oversized pilot's offerings from the likes of IWC and Longines, this is a valid answer. And I have to say, with Zenith inside and the real image of Zenith's historic aviation instruments on the outside, the history to which it refers is all real. And unlike many companies that refer to other companies' histories, it's all Zenith. You can see and you can purchase this Type 20 GMT on our website.